ask you the way Tobias carried you in the first half with Joel in foul trouble and how you were able to exploit those mismatches when they have one of those guards on him. It seems like you really took advantage of that. Yeah, they do a lot of switching. Uh, we knew that. Um, our guys did a great job of finding uh, where that switch was at and, and took advantage of it. Tobias was huge. You know, it, it's funny, just playoff games in general, but you, you make all these plans, you have a week of planning uh, what your rotations and everything are, is going to be, and then a guy gets in foul trouble and everything goes out of the window. And so then you have to coach on the fly. And I thought our guys overall reacted to it very well. Thank you. <clears throat> Chris Franklin. Hey, Doc, it looked like you had Danny Green and Ben Simmons going to guard in Westbrook. How would you assess the way they guard him tonight? I think they did a pretty good job. I mean, listen, he's he's terrific. Um, he's just a, a tough cover every night. Uh, you know, we forced six turnovers, which which is big for us. But he's good, man. He's, he's, he's Westbrook. Like, we know that coming in. And the other guy's name is Bradley Bill. And, and we know that coming in. So we're going to guard him, uh, make it as tough as possible on him. Uh, and yet we know they still may have success. David Murphy. Hey, Doc, you uh, you guys faced these guys back in the season opener in December. Tobias had a bit of a rough night. <clears throat> I was wondering if you had said anything to him after that night. And, um, you know, either way, what what have you made about how he's kind of fit into this team and and – kind of the, the change you've seen in him over the course of the season. Yeah, I, I don't even remember that night. Uh, I can tell you that. So I can tell you, I, I didn't say anything. I don't ever worry about a guy that can play when they miss shots. You know, um, you know, if I did that tonight, I would have gone nuts because we, we had so many wide open shots. We just didn't make them, uh, you know, give give them some credit. Maybe the, the week off hurt us as far as our timing uh, a little bit. But Tobias, I had full faith in. I said it earlier. I think he, he struggled the first couple of games. And just from the body of work of coaching them with the Clippers and, um, you know, knowing them and watching them, what we were trying to do with them in training camp, I just really believed it would take over at some point, and it has. Thanks. Lauren Rosen. Hey, Doc, you've told us all season about how much of an impact Ben makes outside of how many points he scores, 15 rebounds, 15 assists tonight. What did you make of his performance? Yeah, it's funny. Like, I thought he was special tonight. Um, whoever he guarded struggled scoring. Um, you know, he created so many points for us tonight off the glass uh, to three, off transition to three, creating uh, switches that they didn't want to have. Uh, I mean, he is a, um, he's just some, he's a treasure. I mean, he, he's something that you don't see a lot in this league. Um, and he's just, he has such a skill set that is so different. There's a lot of people that can't make one of them. Uh, all I see is, is greatness in them. And I just want him to keep doing what he's doing. Paul Hudrick. Hey, Doc. Uh, just curious what you saw out of George. It seemed like he was the reserve that you kind of leaned on the most, uh, what his addition has kind of meant to you, and how big you think he's going to be for you in the postseason. Uh, he's going to be huge, uh, Paul. He was great tonight. Um, Defensively, um, he, he, he kind of settled. He, he, he has a great voice. He settles the second group down. You know, they had that one stretch where they were struggling a little bit. And I thought George kind of took them over. You know, you could see it out on the floor. Um, it's great to be able to put him on different guys defensively. You're not going to fool him. Uh, he's going to be solid. So he's great to have on the team. Thanks. Jeff Skaberski. Hey, Doc, I know you're hoping this is the first of many playoff wins, but your first in Philadelphia, you have extra fans there. How sweet was this for you, you guys to grind this out and get a win with the support there? I mean, it just sounded deafening at times. It did. I can't believe that that was 10,000, 11,000. There's no way. Um, um, I think we're kind of like the Republicans, you know, because um, it was it felt like 30,000 people. Uh, in that in that stands, they they were they were amazing. So uh, let's keep it going. Uh, it's so nice to have that at home. You know, we got down uh, early in the second quarter and beginning of the third, and and they never wavered. That that gives the team energy. I don't think people understand how important that is. Kevin Kincaid. 
Uh, can you talk to us about your challenges today? Um, I think people were wondering if you might challenge that second or third foul on Joel, and I think you ended up using a challenge in the fourth quarter. Yeah, it wasn't. A, I, I I thought both uh, fouls were fouls, so I'm not going to waste the challenge uh, if I think it's one. Uh, the last one we had a foul. We had a time. The timeout was ours. The next one anyway. Uh, so you know, the next dead ball would have been our timeout. So I thought take a chance there. Um, and I, I thought it was a foul. I thought they fouled him before he went up. Um, they actually said it was inconclusive. You know, it was that close. So they just couldn't overturn it. So, yeah. Last question, Rich Hoffman. Hey, Doc. Uh, I was curious what you thought about the transition defense after you made that a, a point of emphasis this week. Um, not, I didn't like it at all in the first half. Second half, we were, it was great. Uh, first half, I'm going to say 20 of their points came off of our mess ups and transition guys running back to their own man uh, guys uh, not loading to the ball. I mean, this team over all the teams, they're going to force you to load to the ball and then, and then, you know, get back out to your guy. I didn't think we did a very good job of it. Second half. I thought it was great. So we have a blueprint now to watch uh, tomorrow and go over. Thanks coach. Thank you.